hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to share the interview questions which are asked in cisco this video will be very important for the people who are applying between four years to seven years these are all real interview questions which are asked in cisco and these questions are shared by one of our subscriber a big thank you to that subscriber and keep supporting and keep helping others as well in this video i i'm going to share all of these questions and uh, answers as well let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of video give your feedback comments and support like if you want to verify any of the question you can contact me as well link in the description below and if you want to see more of this type of content please hit the like button we are having target of 100 likes only in this video we have questions like code java questions collection questions design pattern spring boot questions microservices question there is a programming question as well at the end so make sure you watch this video till the very end let me just jump to the question one by one so the first question we have is first question is uh, how is your day look like okay so i have made a video on this topic uh, you can refer that video how to explain your day-to-day -day activity and all as a java developer so make sure you watch that video also and uh, you will get a basic idea how you can answer these kind of questions these kind of uh, like interview questions all right so you need to explain how how you are uh, gathering the requirement how you are start working on that and like what type of uh, methodology you are following is it a sdlc model or uh, agile model in agile what type of model it can be scrum it can be kanban it can be safe agile anything so all the things you need to share and what is the, your tech stack also okay so the next question we have here is do you have any experience of java tech lead have you contributed to review the source code of your colleague so if you are applying for more than five years chances are they they will select you as a java tech lead or senior software engineer so as a senior software engineer it's uh, your responsibility to help your colleagues in the so in their uh, like problems or any any help they want technical point of view or uh, you also review their code their source code so in uh, while using bitbucket you get the option of review others code as well so while merging your code you like uh, while anybody merge that code their code uh, they will share their code to other people like they will uh, give some name for the approvers and if, if anybody is selecting you as an approver it's your job to uh, like review that code and if it is approvable you can approve that and if it is there there is something which you want to point out you can comment that one that thing also okay so these things you need to take care while answering this question so if you are really like uh, contributing to review the source code you can you can tell that as well the next question we have is here which is how do you rate your knowledge in spring boot framework so if you are applying as a java developer and in your tech stack you are mentioning spring boot as well then you 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 need to have a good knowledge of spring boot application how the spring boot application works and different modules in the spring boot applications like aop ioc mvc and other modules as well like spring cloud and all so uh, spring batch is there spring actuator is there there are many things many things spring admin is also there so many things are there so you need to read your knowledge in spring boot framework if you have good knowledge in spring boot uh, then you can rate high like 7 8 and if you have less knowledge in spring boot rate less but don't lie because otherwise if you lie uh, the interview will get uh, you will get caught so don't lie about that all right so the next thing and i mean the next question we have here is let me just read it out can you tell me what happens behind the scene in spring boot auto configuration so while talking about spring auto configuration there are multiple things which are happening behind the scene in front it is it is seen as a magic but it is not a magic because all the configuration has been done behind the scene automatically so there is there is configure uh, configure classes there are like many other classes as well which help spring boot to uh, like configure all the things automatically okay so uh, 
if you want to read about it there is a very good video by daily code buffer you can refer that i i, I will link that in the description as well so whenever you are running any spring boot application uh, you will run it as a, as a java application and that like configuration that configuration related to that has been done automatically and uh, you will get the feature of auto configuration there are starter projects as well which will give you like uh, leverage of that so this magic happens when when you add the dependencies of anything like if you want web in your application you want you add web dependencies if you need actuators in your uh, like uh, application you need actual dependencies in your form.xml and automatically it will be configured based on the dependency that are that are uh, present in the class path all without much effort required by us as a developer okay so the secret behind this power actually comes from the spring itself or rather from the java configuration functionality that it provides as we add more starters and dependency more and more classes will be added to our class path Spring Boot detects the presence of absence of specific classes and based on that information makes some decisions which are not simple and fairly very complicated. So uh, this video will be very long if I explain that into this video. So make sure you watch other videos on that as well to understand this concept thoroughly. Okay. So uh, the next question we have is here uh, which is how can I stop Spring Boot from auto configuring something? So if you have used Spring Boot 1.0, you must know that uh, instead of Spring Boot application annotation, we have three different annotations like enable auto configuration, component scan and various other annotations as well. But after Spring 2.0, we have a single annotation called Spring Boot annotation. So in that, uh, like uh, this annotation called uh, like enable Spring Boot annotation is missed. So what you can do? If you want to exclude certain libraries from the configuration, you have configuration class file for those uh, configurations. So you can exclude them. So you can write something like this. I will write it here. You can write. So suppose you are writing this annotation spring boot application. So you want to exclude those libraries. So what you, you will do exclude equal to configuration dot class this configuration can be anything this configuration can be uh, suppose sql configuration or any other anything any configuration you are using in your application so if you are not using spring boot application annotation uh, either you you are using enable auto configuration so this is this thing is uh, like true for this annotation as well you can use this exclude property here as well so this is the whole uh, thing uh, how you can configure and how you can skip the auto configuring if you want to skip that auto configuration part uh, the next question we have is here uh, which is uh, something like this what are the feature of java 8 you have used in your application Trust me guys, this is the very very repetitive question nowadays and everybody in any interview, in every interview they are asking about Java 8 features. So you must know all the features of Java 8, optional classes, uh, stream API, functional interfaces, lambda expressions uh, and uh, default method, static method in interfaces, all the things you need to know. Uh, and like uh, there are multiple other things as well like uh, implementation of hash map has been changed and uh, uh, there are like Java datetime API which has been introduced then there comes uh, some there is one more thing which i forgot right now uh, what was that Le okay just find out that and let me know in the comment section okay so this is the thing and do you feel any performance improvement after using java 8 so this question is related to my earlier question i mean this earlier question as well uh, what is the like uh, introduction i mean introduced in java 8 so uh, performance improvement if we talk about performance improvement so inst instead of uh, like loops to iterate the collection we have started using stream api so now stream api is a more readable way uh, it is more maintainable so as a coder as a coder like uh, you can you can write a very clean code 
and uh, like uh, you realize that uh, your performance not suffering okay so that the uh, that is the things and uh, this stream api can be used for multiple reasons like you can sort you can calculate average you can uh, filter out based on some parameters you can uh, perform some functional operations using map and flat map okay and you can collect those stream into any of the uh, any type of uh, these uh, collections so there are multiple ways apart from that there is uh, like if if i talk about performance improvement there is one more thing which has been introduced as a part of jvm like uh, there was param gen space before java 8 there was param gen space but after java 8 uh, they have introduced uh, something else they have introduced uh, meta space okay so meta space is more memory efficient and it is a better way a better way to use the memory okay so over meta space oh, sorry over perm gen it has multiple advantages like uh, uh, perm gen was uh, always has a fixed maximum size but in the case of meta space meta space by default auto increases its size depending on the underlying os okay and in the case of perm gen you have contiguous java heap memory contiguous uh, contiguous java heap memory means a big chunk of memory has been taken by by perm gen but in the case of meta space you have neta uh, native memory native memory which is provided by os which you are using and uh, it has the, the perm gen has in inefficient garbage collection but in the case of meta space you have efficient garbage collection as well so this is the thing while talking about uh, uh, performance improvement in the case of java 8 the next question we have is what all design pattern you have used this is another very very common questions and uh, common question and trust me guys uh, this is very repetitive as well so like uh, in my videos as well you will find these type of question again and again because interview interviewer are asking these questions okay so like if, if i talk about design patterns there are multiple design patterns which are available there are creational design pattern there are structural design pattern and there are behavioral design pattern so if if i talk about creational design pattern they are like related to uh, create any object for example your singleton your prototype design pattern your factory design pattern abstract factory design pattern builder design pattern these design pattern are used to create some objects so that's why they are creational and the object which are like uh, uh, changing the behavior of uh, uh, any object which is behavioral design pattern okay so so whatever design pattern you know you can tell ab about those as well so uh, to answer this question make sure you pick two three design patterns and understand them read them and also know that where exactly in jvm libraries they you uh, like jvm library where exactly they are using them so you also give the example of that for example if i talk about builder design pattern string builder internally uses builder design pattern so that is one example if i talk about singleton design pattern spring framework internally using singleton design pattern so that is the case so you need to understand about design pattern so that you can answer it perfectly now next question we have is uh, what is the difference between factory design pattern and abstract factory de design pattern this is another very common question so if you tell about uh, design pattern that you know factory design pattern and abstract factory design pattern the chances are they will ask this question and this is another very simple question because uh, like many people struggle to answer this question but it is in fact a very simple interview question in, in fact a very uh, simple question because both the design patterns are as uh, you are type of creational design pattern okay and the main difference is in the case of factory design pattern it hides the construction of a single object single type of object you can create a single type of object in the case of factory and abstract factory design pattern is another layer of abstraction over factory design pattern and in the case of abstract factory design pattern it hides the construction of a family or related object so in the case of factory design pattern you create a single object or in the case of abstract factory design pattern you create a family of related object okay so it hides the creation of a uh, family of related object so that is the main difference you need to tell in in your interview all right 
सो लेट्स मी लेट मी जस्ट एंड दिस वीडियो टिल हियर एंड बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी वेरी लॉन्ग एंड आई विल पोस्ट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो लाइक वॉच द अदर वीडियो एज वेल एंड लाइक प्रिपेयर फॉर योर इंटरव्यू ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर इंटरव्यू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन हाउ यू आर परफ्यूम इन योर इंटरव्यूज एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी हेल्प इन रिज्यूम बिल्डिंग और हैव एनी जनरल क्वेरी यू कैन गो टू द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी देर and apart from that i have a hindi channel as well you can subscribe to that as well and there is a platinum membership also which is open you want to see more of this type of content like part 2 of these videos and real re interview recording and lot of other things you can you can become a member uh, prime mem uh, like uh, platinum member and join the platinum membership and uh, trust me it will be cost less than a pizza and like uh, you won't regret do that money i'm sure you won't regret because once you clear any round on any interview you will get a more uh, like uh, like great hike so you won't regret that thank you so much for watching this video till then bye bye